Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely week. So today we're going to be playing with the Bohemian Days collection which is in the, what is it called, the Bonkers Bundle Sale. So we'll be going through everything here today in just a moment and we're going to be making um, a different project using this bundle but I'm going to be sharing you how to make this with the um, the disc bound um, system. So. Um, I just love to bring you new ideas on what you can do with all of these sets and things. So if you're in chats or you're able to chat, come along and say hello. Um, I'm going to give it about a minute or two and then I'm going to jump straight into this um, thing. Hi Lynn. Okay, so she's on Facebook. I have noticed the Facebook people are definitely more chatty than the YouTube people. So YouTube people. There's a bit of a competition here going in the chat. So if you can do pop along and say hi. Oh, hi Jane. So she is from uh, YouTube. And I'm just gonna check that I'm streaming. It looks like as I've got a comment from each place, it looks like we're all good. So I'm just gonna double check everything. Looks like we're all good on Facebook, uh, on uh, YouTube and I can never tell with uh, Facebook. It, it, it literally has its own little personality. So um, let's do a refresh here. YouTube is very straightforward, but Facebook it's, you know, two steps up, five steps down, round the corner, turn left, <laughs> go up and down a bit, go round someone that's in your way. So that's kind of what it's like going live on Facebook. Uh, looks like I'm here though. Looks like I'm all there and it's all good. Right. So today we're going to be playing with this bundle here. It is in the Bonkers Bundle Sale. I have no idea why it's called that, but it is a bit bonkers because here is um, a picture. You get all of this in the bundle sale. I'm just bringing up all the information here. Um, this is currently 66.99. And that is a saving of £92.50. That is phenomenal. That is probably the best price that you will see this at. And this is basically a starter kit. If you are new to this and you don't know where to start, this kit is pretty much a starter kit because you get everything in this bundle here to make what I have here, which is the presentation box for the small album. You get the small album, papers and the dies that are going to make all of this the place photo here and the mats are not included in this uh, they were they were in stock at the time that this album was made so you even get the inserts here as well so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a box and size it up for the disc bound small album here it is now there is a tutorial for this on the Simply Made Crafts channel. If you're not subscribed to the Simply Made Crafts channel, pop over there and subscribe. It's got all of the tutorials here on step-by-step -step how to make this box and everything in this particular um, project there. But it also has the tutorial and the step-by-step -step on how to make the disc bound album using the small album and how to adapt the cover the disc bound cover as well so we're going to be playing with that disc bound today I know um, a lot of you have bought the disc bound um, system here it is so you're definitely going to be needing ideas on what you can do to play with it and I sneak peeked this last week in one of my lives and I know a few of you have picked this up as well so it's great to get some ideas out there for you guys so I'm just gonna go back to the comments just to keep an eye on those wow it's getting busy Oh, it looks like perhaps maybe, oh, it's pretty even, even here <laughs> on comments. So let's keep them up. Um, create the Joy Hall, Joy Hall, all from Alabama. How, how are you with the tornadoes? Um, I know uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I think it was pretty bad. So I'm hoping that you managed to dodge those well as you're here still. It looks like you did, so that's good. Hi, Julie. And she's sending a, a pink waving hand. It's not showing me the actual emoji in my the chat. The chat. It's just showing me what you type that creates the icon. So it's all hand pink waving. <laughs> Hi, Deb. And uh, 
Joy says it hasn't started yet. Oh, are you further along then? I think it's going to hit Florida today, something like that. Um, if you know me, I'm obsessed with the weather, so it's it's a drab day here. Sun keeps trying to come out, so I may have to, as you can see, it's got a bit um, bright here. I'll put this back, get rid of that white glare. There you go, something nice to look at. Hi, Leanne. And Lynn is waiting for disc bundle to... Oh, it went astray and had to be reordered. Oh, I'm so glad it was still in stock for you then. Otherwise, yeah, you never know. The, the previous one still might turn up. You never know. Then you'll have two. Okay, so I have the bundle here. We're going to go quickly through this on what you get in here. It's basically a, a starter set if you are new to these albums. It has everything in here to make the box, the mini album, the pockets, the inserts, and some of the kinetic things there as well. So it's got literally everything in there to get you started. And if you take out the, the pattern stuff, like the, the paper and everything, you literally just have the dies and you can put any paper collection with this that you want to. So it's an absolutely phenomenal saving here of £92.50. That's just madness. Ah, so Joy's in the north of Alabama. Ah, should be soon though. I hope it's not too bad. I like to watch um, Ryan Hall, yo. I love that channel. So yeah, I'm there with my little maps, looking at everything. I'm just going through. Leanne's just written quite a bit there. So it looks like you have a really busy day. Yes, I'm a hoarder as well of the uh, paper packs. So I've actually ran out of the ephemera. Here is the ephemera. I don't have that to show you today. So um, I need to order myself another one of those because it's all gone. But here is some of the ephemera here as well. It matches the papers beautifully. So let's quickly go through everything. Oh no, Lynn said it's the first one waiting somebody else's parcel. It must have been a very busy day, I think. Sometimes mishaps like that happen when we're super busy. Okay, so in this bundle we get the small album. That is enough to make the pocket pages that go with the disc binding. This one here, this is not included in the bundle, this is separate, but today I'm showing you just more ideas on how to play with this. But you do get the pages here to make that and we're coming up to this die set as well in a second and this complete small album is enough to make this album here you get the binding in there to make the pages and everything so that is the small album and then we have the small album pocket page inserts so here they are they come out like this so when it's in this orientation it's for the album in landscape and the page pockets on the side Again, the tutorials are on the Simply Made Crafts channel. And then we have this one here, the tall one. This is for when the album is on its side and you have the opening here. It pulls out that way. Now there is another tutorial for that one on the channel as well. So I love these and you can double them up. You can have them single if you trim off the, um, the tab there. That, and you also get the fitted mats as well. So I love that one. And then we have the small pop-up frame. I'll quickly show you here. Now this one will be needing a large format machine. Everything in the small album will fit through a, a standard Big Shot. Um, let's go to here it is. There we go, we have a pop-up frame page here. You can see how 3D that is. And then we have the small album photo peekaboo. Now these two will fit in all of the albums. We have the large, medium and the small. So if you have any of the small items, it will fit, fit in any of the larger ones. Um, let's find, there we go. I love this, this is perfect for cards as well. I love that, you can pop your photos there. You can pop a gift card in and add it to a card front. It's gonna be perfect for Christmas, so you get that as well. And then we have the small shadow frame box. The large one has sold out. Um, I have no idea when it's coming back, but the small shadow frame is available and this will also fit the medium album as well. So it is. it does say small, but it does fit the medium album if you have that one too. And here is the box in the small. And today I'll be showing you how to adjust this so it will fit the album with the disc binding. As you can see, it's a bit small at the moment. Um, 
So I'll be showing you how to trim down these edges here. If you were to make a box without any trimming down, you'll get a big square box and that is what will fit the medium album. So I love that one. Then we have the stamp set here. I have done a little bit of heat embossing with this for the front cover of the box we're making today. So I'll be revealing that in a moment. It's got very bright. Let's close that curtain. That sun is coming out again. And this is the Bohemian Days stamp set. I love this one. I haven't had a lot of time to experiment and play with this one. So I'm hoping I will get some time. And then we have the Bohemian Days paper pack as well. Okay, that's 12 by 12 and uh, 24 single sided sheets. Let's pop everything aside. And I'll be needing this one here. So we're going to be making a box for the disc bound album. Again, this album is available, the tutorial is available uh, to get to this stage that we are here in the, uh, the Simply Made Crafts YouTube channel. So let's get uh, a cutting guide out for you. Let's tip everything out. Probably should have had this prepared already on a, maybe a, let's pop this on a magnetic sheet. I do like to work on a magnetic sheet. So let's get this all organized. It helps keep everything neat and tidy in theory. Right, so we'll pop that there. We get the mats here, it's stitched as well. This one here is for when it's sized um, on a small but if you are doing some trimming and things like that then you can just trim that down or cut your own then we have these frames have i got them on here there we go We've got the framed bits there so you can see again if you're doing custom sizes just cut the long one and then you can just cut it at a 45 degree angle doesn't have to be perfect and then we have the hinge so to make this adapted for our disc bound album I have some bits already cut out so you're going to be needing two of the full sized ones which I have here there we go I've already done some matting as well so again this is in reverse because it's been cut out like that so two of those and I've popped my mats on the long side and then I've trimmed one down and I'll show you exactly how I've done that I need one hinge and then I've just cut my mat here for our remaining one. So let's grab the box out again. So we have here, if we cut this down to the small, there is a little notch here for you to cut this down to fit the small album, but we, we're not gonna be using that notch today because that will give us a box that's too small for us. So we need to work out where we're going with this so let's grab a ruler I'm going to be showing you how I've worked this out so that if you have a different sized album you can work this out using the same uh, method so I've got here my long one and we need to have this in the orientation here where we have the tab here the 45 degree angle here that matches this here this is what creates this section here this middle bit here so we pop that on there there we go so then we work out where we want this. So pop your album here and then we can measure. So I'm thinking right now, <laughs> that's why I've gone quiet. So the album here, we have to take into account the tabs. So it might be easier to go across the top. That needs to be round about six inches to, for it to fit comfortably and then you have another measurement that you have to add to that six inches which is this area here because this box continues to go past this line out here so we need to take into account this measurement there so add half an inch on top of the gap that you want for your album so that is how you work that out and for me I've just put a little pencil line just here starting from this inner bit here not the outer bit the inner bit going across and there we are six and a half so let's get that cut off and then we can start assembling now what I really should have done when I was preparing I should have done some this should be quick for me to put together but I should have really have done this already and got those popped together so let's do that quickly so we're gonna grab our paper trimmer Just quickly trim that off. 
and then quickly put that mat on. You can do the matting afterwards, but it all depends on how fast you want to go, whether you have a leisurely Sunday afternoon. Some people like to do like proper batch work and then or some other people like to just decorate afterwards. So it's up to you. It doesn't make it more easy or anything like that. It's just down to per personal preference. Right, so I've got here some of the pink hessian textured print from the paper pack. And I'm using the book binding glue. I literally have like this much left. So it'd be really nice when that comes back. So I'm just gonna quickly just fold these score lines now. And then we can start assembling the tubes. I probably should have folded that before I added the paper. There we go. We're all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> That's what I have on my watch. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> right. So let's get these popped together now. Back to the glue. Ah, Jenny. She's from Australia. Ah, she's also sent me a little wave as well. So we're going to add some glue just to this tab here. Now this this um, box took a while to develop, so there was lots of prototypes getting the uh, everything right. So I'm really glad that we were able to resize this into the smaller version. So all you have to do is just make your little tube by doing that. So do the same on these, and I'll go through a few comments whilst I'm gluing this. Ah, oh, good question, Leanne. She's asking what base card. I'm actually using the, the brand new Creative Craft Products range. They have some absolutely stunning new card stocks out. And this is, I think it's a Precious precious Purple, something like that. I think it's called Precious Purple. And I love this. It's, I think it's 230 GSM. If you're watching on YouTube, it's linked in the itemized description. But um, if you go to on, on the Craft Stash website and go to the cardstock, you can click brands, click creative craft products and you'll have all of the new colours. I love this colour, so that is what I'm using today. Ah, Leanne's also saying she's got some old planners that she can reuse the discs from as well. That's what I've done for some of mine too. I've, I just went around my craft room, gathered up all of my discs for this launch and then I've um I've also I also bought a few new ones as well. I needed the 24 millimeter ones for the cover because they're kind of like the mini versions. I'm covering my hands with glue here. Luckily this stuff does dry clear. Yeah Lynn loves the purple card too. I think it goes really well with the um with the paper collection. Went a bit wonky there. There we go. These sort of remind me of like a, a pencil box as well. <laughs> Pop some pencils in there. And our last one. And then we can start assembling. Okay, so you should have these now all done, nice little tubes. What we're going to do is we're going to alternate them. So we have here the long, short, and then a long and a short. Now my glue's taking a little bit of time to dry. So we'll start gluing. Um, I am sort of tempted to maybe get some red tape out, but we will see how we get on with this. So I've got my glue there on the tab. And then I'm going to slot this on, line it up, and gently press down. If you pinch these sides here, you're not going to get a paper cut there. Don't ask me how I know. I was just gentle there, just turn it over. 
I'm happy with that so I'll give it a bit more of a press and then we'll move on to the next one so we've just done a short one so let's do a long one yep there we go Hi Deirdre from New Zealand. I learnt a fact. Um, New Zealand is the antipode, I think it's called the antipode of the UK. You are literally the other side of the world. So I grew up thinking it was Australia. It's not. <laughs> That's wonky. It's New Zealand. Now I watch a few people that wild camp in New Zealand so I love I love seeing all of the um, the scenery and the wildlife. Is it the wicker bird as well? <laughs> It'll steal your food if you're not careful. Right, Lynn also loves the uh, the Bohemian papers. I do too. It would be such a shame when this goes. I will definitely be requesting these to become available in digital if they sell out. going with the way that the Scandi Dreams papers went and the Bee Garden papers went then yeah um, they may just sell out eventually so hi Owen and uh, oh Meridlin is from Darlington right so we now have this really long line here what we need to do now is get this popped together so just a quick dry run. These pop inside here. They might get caught here at the bottom there. You just need to kind of just twist it and squeeze it a little bit so it goes in. So now that I've got that, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just to these corners here. That is going to help, help them stay in place. And then I'm just going to add some glue just here as well, just to this tab. There we go. Okay, slot that in. Now this last one, you kind of just got the slot in your tab. This is the last one's definitely one where you definitely want to have some red tape so it can grab easily. So I'm just going to tuck that in there and press that in. There we go. Now this will want to skew because we haven't popped the backing on that yet. So this is our last our last tab here. I'm just going to press that in. Not too hard because I'll squash the box. Okay, so this is our nice side and this is the bottom side. You'll see we have some overlapping areas. Okay, so let's get a base popped on there. So this is really easy. Um, if you have the UK A4 cardstock, it's literally the length of it, eight and a quarter. So cut it down to eight and a quarter again. Um, sorry, I actually measured that wrong. Do, do, do. Let's cut this down again. I took a measurement from a different box. I was not concentrating last night, which means I'm going to have to fix the front cover I made. We'll see how that goes. I might be able to fix something. All right, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. And maybe you can help me decide. I've got this cover. It's too big. It's too long. So I can either trim this off here and add maybe a bit of pom-pom detail or trim it down here at the arrows. I might just trim it here at the arrows here. I'll lose the ends here. which is fine and then I can always add a little pom-pom trim I always love to add a bit of pom-pom trim or I can have this that's too large there that's gonna look silly and it's not gonna sit on my bookcase nicely so I think what I will do is I'll trim it off at these arrows here and it won't look like it's been butchered at all so let's take another quick measurement these things happen guys and if I was filming this, I would not have edited it out because I want to show you how you can fix things. So I'm going to cut that to seven inches. So it's eight and a quarter by seven. I might just have to get my big trimmer out 
there's quite a few layers of card on the cover so I'll probably have to get my big one out for that one oh, thank you Julie she loves the paper collections I put a lot of um, thought into them so and I definitely have my favourites yeah Lynn saying trim at the arrows hi Helen oh your phone rang So yeah, it's still the Easter break for us. Um, I'm starting to get a bit, mm, I'm looking forward to getting back into um, the routine. I, I really miss just the, the usual hustle bustle of the schools and things like that. I miss that routine when it's not there. I'm all right for about a week <laughs> and I have had a nice little rest and not having to get up early in the mornings, but um, yeah, I'm starting to miss that routine now, so. That all starts again on Monday. So this will give the box a bit of sturdity. There we go. This will stop the uh, the box now from like twisting or going skewed. Moment of truth. Does this fit? Yes, it does. There we go. I could probably fit two in there actually because this is quite thin. So if you want to pad it out, maybe with some stuffing or paper shred or tissue paper, that will bring this up a little bit. But this box was designed for the album height in the small, medium and large. That's obviously too big. So you have got the measurements there and the notches to do the small version. Okay, so that goes in there. I'm glad that fits. Let's move over to this conundrum here. So this is my cover. What have I done with it? How have I made it? So I've done some layers here with the papers. I love this teal. Let's grab the stamp set. I love this stamp set and I've used some white, just ordinary white heat embossing, heat embossing powder. Don't ask me what brand this is. It's probably Nuvo, but I put them in these little sandwich boxes and I use a little spoon just to do that and then I don't have to do any of that folding up the pieces of paper but I have got I do keep some paper handy for that sort of thing folded up ready to go just in case sometimes I might need a purple one and I don't have a, a box for my purple one okay so I've used here the dream capture here we have extra um, feathers here for hanging we have this lovely emblem here which I've used on the front of the album I've used silver silver is going to be a more muted on this card as you can see it's more subtle but if you get the light right you can get that shining and there, there's just a happy birthday there's a few sentiments here but add your own sentiments or alphabet stamps or alphabet dies if you want to do something custom so I think the consensus is we will uh, cut down at the arrows. So what was it, seven inches? Yep, seven inches is what we need. I think we'll be just fine with that. So I've got loads of layers here. I'm gonna use my big trimmer. I have no idea if this is still available. I got mine shipped from the US many, many years ago. Cuts uh, chipboard. Um, if you need a chipboard cutting one and this is not available, this is the Fiskars Bypass Trimmer. I know Tonic have have one that um, will cut through chipboard. I've not tried it. I've seen it working. So I have been intrigued by it. So let's cut this. Let's do that first one. I might just keep these for something or other. Always keep interesting off cuts. I am going to go a smidge over seven because well, maybe I'll be all right. Yeah, I'm good. I'll go exactly on seven. I might just have to do a little bit more. Okay, let's trim these white bits off. Actually, what side is this on? This is on the 
this side here. I could always cover that up with something. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off. It will be slightly shorter. And then I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun. And that will hide any missing length that we have or width. So, okay, we're good with that. So that is slightly shorter as you can see here. But I have some pom-pom trim that I've been using throughout actually the um, these particular projects. Here it is. I've popped it on a cling film in a tube. It's like a massive fluffy candy flossy <laughs> pom pom trim thing. So let's plug in my glue gun. Here it is. I'll use the Sizzix one. Um, yeah, Crate and Craft did a testing. I brought my glue gun and they said, oh, we just need to test that. Okay, here you go. <laughs> there we go, all plugged in. Turn that on. I've got my glue stick ready. I'm almost out. Actually, does, I need to buy some more glue sticks. What is the best thing I can do? Where can I get them from? I can, I can quite easily get them from Craft Stash. Um, but do you have any favourite brands or do you just go for like generic ones or the ones with the best price? Let me know in the comments. Uh, Stephen saying cover it! Exclamation mark. Yep. Oh yep, sorry Olwyn. Such a shame to trim it but I do like the trim so I will trim it on the edge. Right so let's get the um, popped on now. So I have here my hinge that is the right length and I'm going to pop it just here on there so let's pop that on should I use some red tape I've only got the thin stuff I've either got something that's too thin or too thick we'll go with glue so Deirdre goes for the best price For the glue sticks. Hi Blanca from California. It must be so early over there. It must be like dawn or something. Has the sun come up yet? Oh Lynn. Pampered Chef. I love Pampered Chef. Upstate New York, 7.30 in New York. Oh, it must be night time still then in California. Goodness me, what am I thinking? I wasn't if the sun's come up yet. <laughs> I'm just going to stick this on here and then I will add the, the front cover to the front. And again, these... This makes an excellent shadow box if you love shadow boxes. I know uh, Vicky on the design team, she made this lovely um, advent calendar. It had boxes in. If you want to check out her channel, it's Crafty Heaven. Um, I don't think she's here today. It's it's still the, um, the school holidays. So uh, she's got four little ones. So it's probably a bit chaotic there right now. So I'm trying to think of things to do to keep them busy. Right, so that is our hinge popped on. I'm just going to add some more glue just to this top section here. I don't think my hot glue is heated up yet. Now you can get pom-pom trim that has all these lovely like colours that I've seen it on Amazon. It matches all of the colours from the paper collection as well but I've only got the plain white one. I really can't remember if I bought it. If I did buy it, it's uh, somewhere where I've hidden it. I don't know where it is, so. Um, I need to clear underneath my desk because things have just piled up under there. If you do the same, then you know exactly what I mean. So 
Okay, there is our hinge. There we go. And then I can pop on the border all around there. And then I can also add another thingy bob there. This might annoy people. So if you actually cover that up with those tapered frame dies, it will cover all that up. Okay. Right, let's see how this glue gun's getting getting on. Oh, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. There we go. Right, let's cut this down to size. I'm going to have a little bit coming off the edge there. So I have to try my best to get this on straight. I'm just doing a dry run. I do a dry run with lots of things. <laughs> Got to make sure it's going to be all right. So I'm going to chop this just here. I don't really want to lose the last pom-pom. So I'll be generous there with one. These things kind of zigzag. So I've got one whole little section there. So let's see how we get up with that. I'm going to go halfway down. I can always add more glue as we go further down. I think it's already set already. Last little line here. Let's be fast this time. Oops. I don't want to stretch it out too much because I'll lose the last pom-pom on the bottom, which I want to keep. I might just have to add a bit more glue there. It's come off a bit there. It dried really fast. Add a bit more. There we go. That kind of hides that excess border that we have around the edge there where we lost a little bit of uh, width there. Um, we can always add something else on the other side, but when it comes to things like this, I'm not going to make an instant decision. I'm going to think about that one, and then we can... Oh, I've glued my box closed. There we go. Tiny bit of glue just here. There we go. Okay, there is our box there. Right, let's turn this off. I had to get my daughter one of these for Christmas because she kept stealing it. Ah, uh, thank you. She also loves the patterns. Yep. So all of the things that I'm showing you today is, um, they are available individually. Um, just if you get them all as a bundle, it's a massive saving. Um, the bundle is $66.99. There it is, and that's a saving of £92.50, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. And Helen says she always goes for the Sizzix glue sticks to go in the Sizzix. Do you have a Sizzix glue gun as well? Uh, Blanca saying it's 4.30am. That's it. I, So, um, are you an early bird or are you a nighttime owl? That's the big question. <laughs> Okay, so let's pop our album in there now. I could actually maybe pop this on here. <laughs> if that is an option, I can just mishmash it together. Yeah, that could work. I'll have a think. Okay, let's pop this in. 
different there we go there is our album you could probably yeah like i said you can fit two in there um when vicky did her sample she padded hers up with some pink paper shred right so we can do something inside this album now because we do have time now i'm thinking i will have to die cut everything right now in real time because i haven't prepared this far let's move the boxes out of the way so ah blanca's an early bird hi amber yes thank you it's a lovely bundle it's just the price is just phenomenal it's a perfect starting kit as i said before my glue keeps coming out of my mug i have to keep it upside down okay so we have here some pages so what shall we make i will let you guys decide we have a choice here we can make some inserts to go inside the pockets just like we have here we can make a 3d frame that pops up and we can also pop this together if i can remember how this goes together it's been a while since i've popped this together so we have that too i do have a bit of plastic you do need some plastic i have got a bit of plastic here i don't know if it's going to be good enough should be but let me know in the comments what we should make so julie has um just making a birthday card oh using these papers oh send me a pic yes if you're part of any of the face group uh, groups then facebook groups then definitely join in there and share them there too and helen saying yes i think she does have it she had Loctite one first and then the Crafters Companion, but now the Sizzix one. Oh yeah, the Sizzix one is miles better. I've, I've just had generic ones from um, Amazon and I think I had a brawn one. One of those like woodworking, yeah, DIY ones. It just dribbled everywhere. So Amber saying she likes the 3D frame. Oh, I think uh, YouTube comments are are picking up a little bit. Because as I said before, I'm noticing there's more people with the lives that I'm doing. There's more people chatting from Facebook than there are YouTube. So YouTube needs to up your game. And it looks like you have a little bit. And Bilanka saying the um, the slide pop out. So we've got one of each. I'm going to go through some of my paper options. Actually, this is my folder that I have. You can see these are all of my prototypes and templates for all of these die sets that I've made here. That is kind of how they start first. So a little sneak peek there of my uh, background workings. Um, and I've got all of my paper offcuts in here as well. So I'm just going to perhaps choose a few bits and bobs here. Uh, let's get this one out. Got that one. These are actually the ones that I printed out myself at home. This is my proper early days project folder. So this was before I had the physical paper pad. I still had to make samples before everything was available. Um, so I just work from the digital versions of things. So I have here all of my bits and bobs. I'm just gonna get out a selection here whilst you kind of decide what we're going to do actually i do have ephemera but it's the digital file version this won't be available to you guys um it's just as as the designer behind it all i have to have all of those things before they go to manufacture but i'll have to um manually cut those out so yeah you're getting a proper sneak peek of behind the scenes here um this one have i got this one out already yeah, I've been doing some die cutting already with some of these. I just put all of my scraps all together and then I know I've got everything in the right place. Let's just get the whole ton of stuff out. I've got a choice now of things to choose from. I love this brick. I really do. Oh, I've got two of those. Okay, right. I think that's enough. So Stephen's saying the slide out and Deidre's saying the slide out okay I will do the slide out 
if um, if it goes drastically wrong, I shall be referring you to the tutorial where it does not go drastically wrong. So um, I've just got to remember now how to put it together. Right, so let's do some die cutting. So for this one, you will be needing a large format machine. Let's get that fired up and grab the die set. We are going for the small album photo peekaboo. Again, this will fit in the medium and the large. So let's go through this. And you will be needing some sort of plastic. Now, if you get any of my die sets, you'll be getting little bags like this that keep them safe. Keep these because you can use them for this sort of project. I am gonna actually pop this onto A magnetic mat here makes it so much easier because we have these confusing varying sizes of rectangles so let's go through those so we have here a rectangle that will be the mat for this one I'm guessing it's not that one is it this one there we go always lay these out before you get started just to orientate yourself and then we have a mat here that will go in here so if we refer ourselves back to the album which I've got just here we'll go through our components so we have here the pull section with the mat that is this top section there we go and then at the bottom section we have this here now some of these mats I think it's this one these will fit inside here as well so that you can map the the front of it too so um, let's get die cutting I'm gonna move this back over here I'm having trouble picking these up. I cut all of my nails off this morning. They were getting too long, so I have had a really good trim. Now I can't pick anything up. Right, so, should we stick with the purple? I think we will. Uh, I've stuffed it back into my cardstock shelf, which is chocker. Maybe we'll go for a lighter one. I've got two here. This is the perfect purple precious purple this one here is foundation soft lavender so I will have to cover some of this up I think we'll go for this one here we'll cover this one up and I think I will stick with the precious purple because it matches so I'm gonna I can't remember how many we need to pull out so let's just start off with two Gosh, I haven't put one of these together since Christmas and we're now in April, so right. Everyone send me crossed fingers. So I'm gonna cut out the main one first. I'm running out of space here. So again, you're gonna be needing a an A4 sized Uh, die cutting machine for this so let's see if we can fit on we're going to be needing these two here these two inner ones are mats so we need to die cut so I can't pick anything up if I bend it I can there we go these two also need to be purple as well unless you really want to mix things up and make it really colorful Okay, let's run that through. I'm just almost off the edge there, so I might have to get the craft knife out of that. just asking where my uh, my magnet mat is um it's just a generic one I've just popped it onto a piece of board that's an A4 size so it matches um but yeah that's that's why it doesn't bend it's quite so it really does add a bit of strength to it but you can do that with any any magnetic uh, sheet right let's keep things tidy pop things back where they go that one went with this one 
that one went here now actually whilst I'm here die cutting still I'm going to do these two mats as well those are going to be photo mats or if you're making a card one will be for your sentiment and one will be for like maybe adding a voucher on top if you have like an Amazon voucher or restaurant voucher or something like that would be perfect for that okay so I've got my two bits there this is going to be a photo mat see I have to keep telling myself what each piece is for right so let's grab some white um do I have white my my card is so chocker right now um do, do, do. I have literally just done, done a little bit of a tidy up so I will have to go for a 300 GSM which is quite thick so we'll see how we get on with that so this is the creative white card 300 GSM and I have printed on it I have a photo printer which means it will take thicker cardstock and I have printed on it and it does come out really nice because it's super smooth so I highly recommend the white cardstock from uh, Creative Products. But only get that for printing on if you know that your printer will take um, the 300 GSM. But as I said, most photo printers will take the 300 because it needs to process photo paper, which is which can be quite thick. Right, so we've got our mats there, right. just going to grab my ruler now because I want to get this bit prepared I'm not too sure if this is going to be long enough so we'll do our best grab a sharpie I'm just going to do a line all the way down here there we go now what is the is it one inch Okay, we'll do one inch this this ruler is great because it's like a quilting ruler for paper craft so I'm now able to get my one inch line there that's gone squiggly but I can kind of keep that straight as I cut with my scissors so if you have any big food bags like the gallon bags perfect for that or just reuse the things that come with your die sets or if you buy magazines you can use that too like the cellophane outer wrap thing okay and then I'm just going to trim on that crease there there will be there will be a little bit of a crease here so I'm just going to try and straighten that out this might try to interfere with the twit with the turning okay so let's do some folding now I'm going to sit down again I had to stand up for all of that action okay thank you Stephen he sent me a fingers crossed let's hope this all works out okay so let's uh, find the bone folder ah oh, put it away in the wrong pot tell me guys if I go too far down I did take my craft mat off so that was kind of a guide maybe I'll put some washi tape yeah I'll do that I'm gonna do a bit of washi tape just here you won't be able to see it but it if I go below that washi tape it means I'm off frame there we go I've got the alphabet in front of me in case I forget it don't worry I won't forget the alphabet right so carry on folding up and now I'm not going to disappear down there right this will be wrapped around here there we go so I am just going to cut this now 
and you will be needing some red tape for this too. Okay, so I'm going to join it round about here. I should probably use the thick stuff. The easiest thing to do is to not add it to the project for this particular one anyway, whilst you're cutting. That's at an angle, so I don't want that one. So it's easier to cut your piece first and then add it. So I am gonna do one at the top and one at the bottom. So this is probably invisible it's like the sun's come out, it's a bit more reflective now. Whoops, press that down. Use a pokey tool. Okay, there is our first section done. I have a bit of stickiness actually coming out the side. I'll show you how to fix that as well. So it's quite important not to cut this piece of um, red tape too big. And again, this is perfect for card making as well. You can make some really nice gift voucher cards with this set. Okay, so grab yourself an anti-static powder tool. I have two. I have the puffy thingy pillow and I have the EK Tools brush. This one uh, dispenses less powder than this one, but this one's more precision. So just add a bit of powder just to those sticky bits and that will get rid of it. And then nothing there is now going to kind of get stuck. Oh, smells a talcum powder now Whew. okay so this should now move up and down I probably did that a bit tight actually I think I might have put that on a bit tight might be okay might be okay We'll see how it goes. If it's too tight, then make sure that when you pop this on, it's slightly looser than what I've put it on. Okay, but we'll find out soon. Okay, so we have here, um, at, so let's add our, where did the white mats go? Here somewhere, under all my scissors, there we go. I've had to get all of my scissors out to reach the red ones. Let's put them away. Right, glue these down. Glue these down first. Do your stamping and decorating. If you're using photographs, use the mats, the matte dies. Here they are. Use the matte dies directly onto your photographs and then you can add them to the mats there. Okay, that is the easiest way to get your photograph sized to the right size. Uh, but if you're doing cards or you want to do stamping, do the stamping now. at this stage. Okay, so I now have my two mats ready to go. I'm going to add these now. I'm going to use more red tape. I need these scissors back. 
we are going to add this on top of there and we're going to add a bit of tape here there at the bottom right I'm trying to work this out as we go now so the tape for this one with the pull goes at the bottom Okay, and then line that up. It will be slightly smaller than this piece of card there, but it should be the, the same length. So it should fit in there very nicely. Okay, so that should now pull upwards like that, but it does get a bit stuck because I did it too tight. Actually, it's getting stuck here on this corner because I had a turn or a crease in my plastic it's got caught here it naturally wants to get caught so you might have to get your your fingers in there so it's best to use a piece of plastic that doesn't have any folds in it or perhaps maybe even turn it inside out that might help as well okay so back to our position here we're going to keep it in this position because we need this facing upwards just like that because this is going to come out this way and this is going to come out that way so we need to have this one popped on here at the top facing downwards okay so let's pop in another bit of tape I'm gonna use a thinner tape actually because I don't really want to lose any um, space here Uh, don't worry Leanne, um, if you feel like you've missed loads there is catch up but I would recommend recommend watching the tutorial for this one that's on the Simply Made Crafts channel now there was a little area here where my plastic was folded it's getting caught here as I switch it so use, use your plastic um, that doesn't have any creases in right so I've got my next mat now this needs to be face down And it needs to be within this fold creased area here and the edge here but it is the same length as these two notches so you can get that popped in there lined up press that down right let's see how this goes okay it gets stuck there because of the crease and we keep pulling out it's got stuck here too so you just need to be a bit more careful I show you perfectly <clears throat> in the tutorial how to pop that together okay so that needs to go around here as well there we go so I didn't have the best piece of plastic because it wasn't long enough so <clears throat> let's get this popped back together there we go so this needs to be in a place where it's not going to get um, in the way there of turning okay so let's pop this together now this tab here did I fold this the wrong way there we go that goes around this gets folded in there just like so okay okay so other than the plastic causing me a bit of tr uh, trouble this has gone together quite nicely I'm just gonna stick it into my album now but I will probably take it out and replace it with um, one with better plastic uh, strips in there 
the one that actually works so definitely check out the YouTube tutorial because I, I show you how to do it properly there but this is what we have at the moment a half working one so let's pop that into the album I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue just to hold it in place and make sure you get the plastic bit correct when you're doing this make a couple and uh, see how you get on with it so let's pop that in there with a bit of glue just a little bit because so I'm going to take this out and repair it there we go that fits perfectly in the small album but you can do uh, two together if you have the large album and again one more look at our, our dodgy slidey pocket there we go you can just have a little peekaboo thing there it just comes out that far there we go so that is the peekaboo die set so let's go through with what we have done today so we have made the box it's all decorated I've shown you how to cut this to size for where whatever album that you are using so that fits inside there you can add more stacks of things if you have loose ephemera and other memories and things those can go in there as well don't forget to decorate all of this as well we have the framed dies there to do that as well I'm still thinking I will put this in there and uh, we also did the pop-out thing, the slidey peekaboo. This is actually what it should look like. There we go. It should look like that. <laughs> there we go. So let's go through the bundle. So you get everything in the bundle for, there's it, $66.99. I keep forgetting, $66.99. And um, you get everything in here to make the album, the box, the small album all the inserts the frame and the peekaboo slider thing um i absolutely love this you get everything in there so it's a perfect starter set you can make everything all from one bundle and if you want to adapt it and play with the disc binding which came out last month this is the box and the tutorial today on how to measure it for it to fit in there so that there so there's full uh, more ideas on the way if you have any ideas or wondering if we could do something or make something do let me know in the comments if you're watching on the replay um, add your comments there as well I do read them so um, I'm always up for ideas and trying out new things um, because when you buy an album or a die set or any other die sets it's really nice to have lots of different projects that you can actually make with that one die set lots of ideas so then it becomes more useful as well so um, I'm sure I've got more ideas coming I just need to think of them for these die sets so thank you Julie ah, thank you Deirdre so yeah for the proper tutorial check out the uh, the proper one so yeah it wasn't too bad because I haven't done it since um, Christmas I think December was the last time I put that together so yeah it's just that blinking plastic <laughs> use a nice long one with no creases in and you should all be fine with that so okay so here is the collection again get everything in there it's absolutely perfect great price and that sale actually ends tomorrow so it's the 11th today and the bonkers sale finishes tomorrow the 12th of April and we also have the handmade with love that also finishes tomorrow I know a lot of you have snapped up um, uh, that uh, collection as well it's all half price 12 the stamp sets 9.99 and all the other dies are 12.49 so that is perfect as well for little gifts I know you've really been loving the picnic basket so that's been really popular that also ends tomorrow as well so um, yeah and I need to order myself some more ephemera because I've run out so that is today's tutorial we've got quite a lot done today 
so um i'll be going live again next thursday so if you have any ideas i haven't decided yet what to do so if you have any ideas it you know let me know in the comments it doesn't have to be simply made crafts it can be anything uh, anything paper craft related so if you want to do some box making and bag making from scratch let me know if you want a mini album or a paper bag album from scratch using scoreboards and glue and things let me know or if there's anything from the simply made craft range that you want a closer look at then do let me know in the comments as well so um thank you all very much for joining me everything that i have used today is listed in the youtube description um comments uh, section and i'll see you all again later bye <laughs>